Okay, so I've been having this problem with NTR CFW streaming where it says could not start remote play on NDS on Snickerstream on my computer. So today I'm gonna tell you how to fix this. So first you need to go to this website here, which I will have linked in the description of the video. Okay, so once you have downloaded the Luma 3DS GSX file, you can extract the files into your downloads folder and take this boot.firm file and move it to the root of your SD card. And if it says already has a file name that, hit replace. Because you're replacing the 11.0 version with the 10.3 version. And so now you're done with the computer and you can eject your SD card and put it back in your 3DS or 2DS. Now once you insert your SD card back into your 3DS, you can just power it on and it works like normal. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. And uh, if you want to see more, and be sure to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions about this, then uh, leave a comment down below. Because uh, this did confuse me, and I was able to find it out eventually. But anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.